Hi collectors, welcome back to my channel. Today we will look at another new Marvel Legend, Winter Soldier Flashback Edition. This figure is based on the TV series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I not yet watched the series, but I think they have some screen that Bucky flashback on the time he was a evil Winter Soldier. Initially, I don't plan to buy this figure. But I changed my mind after I purchased the Captain America 2 pack and Iron Man Mark 3. Both of them are good figures with high details on them. So without further wasting your time, let's us take a closer look on the box art. And hopefully this figure won't disappoint me. This is the Winter Soldier Flashback Edition. Captain America label on top and a big open window at the front of the box. Our Winter Soldier at the center surrounded by his weapon and accessories. Photo suit on the bucky at the side of the box. And the same picture on another side. At the back we have photo shot on the bucky and some background on the Winter Soldier <sighs> Poor little guy You are mine now No one will help you Hey Jetfire, leave him alone <sighs> Poor little Bumblebee You think you can beat me alone? I'm not alone! Meet my Jedi friend! Jetfire, you are oh, mine now! Fire. Come on, Jetfire! Where you all come from? No. Don't move, How can Jetfire! I am now! No. No. Leave me alone! Okay, Bumblebee, leave it to me! Be careful, Sam! No, you stupid Jedi! Don't move, Jetfire! Here is our Winter Soldier out from the packaging. My first impression on this figure are good. We have high detail in his suit and the bucky head scope are great. The photo reel tab by Hasbro are getting better and better. And I really appreciate on their effort. To me, the head scope on a figure is the most important thing compared with the articulation. I like my figure look same as in the movie or TV series. A regular guy like me, Hot Toy is beyond my reach at this moment. They are far more too expensive to me. Maybe I will have my first Hot Toy in the future. Who's no, this is Dreamland. We keep building our dream. I believe one day I will get my first Hot Toy. But at this moment, I just happy to have my Marvel Legend. This mask version Bucky's look great. We have some details sculpted on his mask. And his face expression is sculpted very well. His hair is sculpted in soft plastic. And the hair details are great. He just look exactly like Bucky wearing his mask in the movie. We can see the sweater on his neck part and the leather light details are sculpted on his suit with some brown watch on top of it. Some cloth fold detail here. The vest belt are sculpted in separate plastic and we can slightly adjust the position. 
nice detail on the strap the buckle is painted in silver and nice detail at the back of the vest belt surprisingly this vest belt actually can remove there are a bit and a hole here we can just remove his vest belt from his body here is our bucky without the vest belt let us take a closer look on his vest belt there is a pit here and a hole here we just insert the pit into the hole this jewelry a great additional feature by Hasbro his titanium arm is sculpted in silver plastic with some great detail on top of it I do hope they have some panel lining on the details a red star painted here personally I prefer they painted his hand in silver rather than using the silver plastic we have a obvious joint pin here leather details and some fold on his tight area the surface really sculpted very nicely some brown watch on his knee pad don't know why I just like the details on his pen his boot also sculpted very nicely we can see the shoelace and fold on top of the boot his belt also in separate plastic the frame is painted in silver a lot of pouch on top of his belt we have a weapon holder back here a dagger store here painted in silver unfortunately we can't store any guns here at the back we have a fake knife here and the knife is not removable here is the bucky head scope without the face mask once again they did a very well in their head scope he just looked like our bucky in the movie and I love it so much we have a machine gun the machine gun is more in black soft plastic as you can see we have very nice surface detail on top of it we have one handgun and one submachine gun both are in soft black plastic with some nice detail on them a combat knife some pattern sculpted on his blade and painted in nice silver the combat knife is slightly bigger than the fake knife at the back full rotation on his head can slightly pivot side to side slightly look up and slightly look down hinge at the shoulder and up slightly over 90 degrees full rotation on his hand double joint here and the elbow can bend that much hinge joint as his wrist and can hinge inward and outward wrist rotation bicep rotation hinge joint at his abdomen he can bend forward that much and bend backward that much waist rotation 360 degree turn no problem his leg can slightly split that much tight rotation but no boot rotation he can kick forward slightly below 90 degree and kick backward that much 
double joint at his knee and can bend that much hinge joint at his boot can hinge outward and inward slightly side to side period and our bucky is about 6 inch high here is our Captain America Sam Wilson World War 2 Captain America Captain America Steve Roger Iron Man Mark 3 Lightning Collection Scopina also Lightning Collection Geo Red Ranger Transformer Kingdom Autobot Blaster Studio Series Megatron and last but not least our Master Grade RX78 Gundam overall this is a great figure he has nice detail on his suit and his face scope are sculpted very well Hasbro really had a lot of improvement in their photo rear head scope this is a very good news to the collectors but bad news to my wallet I think I will start collecting Marvel Legends figures to me the only downside on this figure is we can't store any weapons on this figure this is a great figure and I will recommend you to add this figure in your collection. Thanks for watching. Remember come back to visit our channel again. Here we keep playing, keep building and keep dreaming. Bye.